If I take a ten pence piece and drop it into a jug of water, it sinks. If I take a piece of foam and drop it into the jug of water, it floats. If I take a pebble, it sinks. And if I take a block of wood, it floats. So why do some things float and some things sink? Um, it's how dense they are. Um, and density is mass, which is how heavy something is, divided by volume, the amount of space it takes up. Um, now, it isn't just solids that sink and float, it's also liquids that sink and float. And we're going to have a go at, um, and you guys can have a go at this as well, of having a go of layering different liquids so that the more dense are at the bottom, the less dense are at the top, and we'll see if we can layer up different liquids um, to float on top of each other. So I've got um, chocolate sauce, mm, uh, golden syrup, washing detergent, washing up liquid, water with food colouring, uh, vegetable oil, and this is, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, car, screen wash, screen wash for the car. You want to put the most dense in first, and the least dense in last. So I've done a sort of mini version here. Uh, we're gonna have a go at doing a large version. We've not had a go at doing a large version yet, um, and Lisa's not tried at all. So this is brand new for us, so it might work, it may not work. I've collected all different shapes inside glasses. So I've got some jars and some glasses, a small glass and wine glass. And we're gonna, I think if we both pick a different type of glass and see which one works best. Uh, so pick a glass, please. Oh, I'm just gonna pick that one. Uh, I will try a wine glass. Uh, if you take a pen, and you take the middle bit out of the pen, so you've just got the outer plastic bit, that works a bit like a straw or a pipette where you can use your thumb over the top. So, I'll show you what I mean. If you put your pen into a liquid, put your thumb firmly on top and take it out, the liquid stays in, leave go with your thumb and it comes back out. So you can use that to control the runnier liquids so that they go in a little bit slower. This is the most dense, so this one needs to go at the bottom. You can decide how thick or thin you want your layers to be. So as we would have been almost breaking up for the Easter holidays now anyway, I thought that rather than just doing the GCSE work, I'd do some sort of fun science videos, uh, things you can try at home as well. So that's got what I've got planned for the next few days. So thanks for watching. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> hey, hello, my name's Lisa. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> Why do some things float and some things sink? Oh my god, are you going to ask me that question? <laughs> yeah, no, I was just thinking. <laughs> I should have recorded that. I have recorded that.